Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. College football definitely not off to a great start today. Um, let's hopefully think, hopefully things will turn around in the night games. I'll keep you posted. Uh, definitely a rough start for us. Update, so college football picks turned around. Top bets are actually five and two right now. We need Arkansas to come back though, they're down nine, so I'll keep you posted. But let's put it to the side because it's NFL Sunday and I got a great game for you. And AFC East, I'm sorry. Dolphins, Bills should be a battle. Let's dive in. Welcome to the source. The source. Source. Hey, get the source. All right, Buffalo on the road down in Miami. The line opens up Miami plus five and a half and 85% of early money's on Buffalo as you would expect. Public heavy on the bills here. This is as of Tuesday morning. Yo, check this out though. So as the week progressed, more and more Miami Dolphins money started to come in. Uh, maybe it's the Buffalo Bills injury reports, which we'll get to in a second. Um, maybe people are just going sharp, taking the Dolphins, but the books eventually dropped the line. We're looking at Miami plus five even now. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown and we'll start with the Bills secondary because that is basically an emergency for the Bills right now. Um, Tredavious White obviously still out. Their number two corner, Dane Jackson, also out. Their all-pro safety, Micah Hyde, out. Uh, their other all-pro safety, Jordan Poyer, highly questionable. Update, right after I recorded this video, they announced on Twitter that Jordan Poyer is not expected to play. So it's official, Buffalo will be missing their entire starting secondary. Their whole secondary, both safeties, number one and number two corners. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that their best interior defensive lineman, Ed Oliver, is also out for this game? So the Miami Dolphins, at home, with the best wide receiver combination in the NFL are going up against a team with a completely decimated and injured secondary. Sound familiar? Yeah, because that's exactly what happened last week against the Ravens and two or through for like 700 yards. Now the Buffalo Bills are certainly not the Baltimore Ravens, let's be fair. Um, truth be told, the Bills probably are the best team in the NFL right now when healthy, and that's the key phrase there, when healthy. But it wouldn't be fair to talk about the Bills secondary without also mentioning that the Dolphins secondary is dealing with shit also. Uh, Byron Jones out, he will miss this game. Also, Xavier Howard limited in practice this week with a groin injury. I think he's gonna play, but he may be limited as well. That's their number one in two corners as well. So right off the bat, I can tell you I'm leaning towards the over here with all these injuries to the secondary. Um, let's talk numbers for a second, the Dolphins, holy shit. Dolphins, second in the NFL on schedule adjusted offensive efficiency. Second. I don't need to mention Waddle and Tyreek Hill's stats. They've been masturbating to that on ESPN all week. I'm sure you've heard it a hundred times already. Actually, what I can see happening in this game is the Miami Dolphins run game getting going. Think about it. The Bills secondary is completely wrecked, right? This team runs more zone coverage than any other team in the NFL. Just seven of their 119 defensive snaps have been in man coverage this year. Bills are always in a zone. So against this Miami offense with those two weapons on the outside, you gotta know that the Bills are just gonna sit back in a zone, probably three deep. Um, and I think there's going to be openings for five, six yard carries or short passes underneath all game for Miami. I think the Bills are gonna give it to them. The question is, can Tua and the Dolphins maintain these drives without making a mistake? Because in order to beat a team that's given you that, you need to be able to sustain 14, 15 play drives at times. Don't forget, head coach Mike McDaniels comes from San Francisco with uh, Kyle Shanahan. This dude is no stranger to establishing a run game and calling it a conservative offense. I truly think Mostert and Chase Edmonds or one or the other um, is poised to have a real solid, efficient game here. Do I think Buffalo is going to score on Miami's defense? Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, but I also think Miami is going to score right back on Buffalo, uh, which is why I said definitely on the over at 53. As far as picking a side, this line just keeps dropping and I hate it. Um, but I'm going to take the five points at home with Miami. This Dolphins team is different than Miami teams of the past. Um, I, this may come back to bite me in the ass, but there's no way with all of this money going to Buffalo. I know the sports books aren't trying to lose money. So I'm going sharp here, fading the public. Give me Dolphins plus five. If anything changes with that bet, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Um, also, if you're interested in the Sunday ticket that I do, which is bet of the day, underdogs of the day, three parlays of the day, top seven bets, and then all the picks for every single game from the staff. Um, definitely go to kylecrums.com or download the Sauce Network app. Week three NFL Sunday, let's get pumped. Hopefully this college football Saturday night turns around. We'll see, I will keep you posted. Let's have a good Sunday. I'll talk to you on Twitter.